Dear students, in previous lecture we discussed FP characteristic of an alternator. Now we are going to solve a problem based on it which was asked in gate 2020. The statement of this problem is a 50 hertz synchronous generator on group control was delivering 100 megawatt power to a system. Due to increase in load, generator power has to be increased by 10 megawatt as a result of which system frequency dropped to 49.75 hertz from 50 hertz. As we know that when power active power demand on generator will increase, its frequency will decrease. We are discussing the case of single alternator single synchronous generator. Further, further increase in load in the system resulted in a frequency of 49.25 which is lesser than 49.75 as we have further increased load on the system. At this condition, the power in megawatt supplied by the generator is at this condition means when frequency is dropped to 49.25 hertz. So first mark the points 50 hertz when frequency is 50 hertz the power delivered by the synchronous generator is 100 megawatt. So this is no load frequency when frequency was 50 hertz then power delivered by was 100 megawatt. We have taken P in megawatt here. So corresponding to this the power will be 100 megawatt. Fine. Now after increase of certain load which is 10 megawatt, the decreased frequency is 49.75 hertz from 50 hertz. So decreased frequency is 49.75 hertz when power was increased by 10 megawatt that is 100 plus 10 we may write 110 megawatt fine further increase in load in the system when load will increase then that increased power has to be supplied by the alternator single alternator which was already discussed in detail in just the lecture uploaded previous to this lecture so frequency has dropped to 49 point and that power has been asked let us mark that power corresponding to this point as px the power which has been asked in this problem fine px so we'll use the same technique same formula which was derived in previous lecture and that was using the slope of this characteristic so that was sp that is tan theta so we, we may evaluate tan theta from any of the triangles formed so far so let us take first one a smaller one this a smaller one if this is theta then this will also be theta so in this right angle triangle if you will try to write the slope that is tan theta that will be this perpendicular upon base and this perpendicular will be nothing but this length and this length is difference of these two 50 and 49.75 so in this smaller triangle we may write tan theta as perpendicular that is 50 minus 49.75 upon base this is the base the base is nothing but this length and this length is nothing but 110 minus 100 110 megawatt minus 100 megawatt the same tan theta may also be written from another triangle right angle triangle either this triangle or we may take bigger one for simplicity as this is 50 so taking difference will be easier with this so let us take the bigger triangle right angle triangle to write the tan theta so this will be again perpendicular upon base 
and this perpendicular will be difference of these two 50 and 49.25 so we may write 50 minus 49.25 upon this upon this base so this base will be px minus 100 px minus 100 so after solving we can easily get px okay let us quickly solve it so this implies from this 50 minus 49.75 that is 0 0.25 right upon 110 minus 100 that is 10 will be equal to 50 minus 49.25 that is 0 0.75 upon px minus 100 where px is the power asked in the problem this power at this condition that is when frequency has dropped to this 49.25 hertz the power in megawatt supplied by the generator so whatever the power corresponding to this frequency will be obtained that will be px and that has been asked so from here we may write px minus 100 will be equal to 10 into 0 0.75 upon 0 0.25 fine so that is 10 into 3 this one three times fine that is 30 so this implies px is equal to 100 plus 30 that is 130 megawatt so the power in megawatt that is in megawatt will be 130 we may put here 130 as our answer so hope you understood the concept behind this problem sometimes instead of asking power frequency might be asked giving the value of power or any any other quantity may be made as unknown but the basic concept behind this is this to find out the slope from the right angle triangles formed so far it will depend upon the statements of the problem so sometimes problems may be asked in different way but take care of the basic concept behind the problem thank you very much